Uh, hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video on changing your brakes and rotors. Uh, as you probably heard in my other videos of me driving around, you can hear the rotors because they make a lot of hissing noise, so time to make a change with them. So, I'm going to do that. I'm only going to show you on one side because it's the exact same process and it's kind of just a waste of time to show you on both, I guess. Unless something cool happens or it breaks something. Uh, first step is obviously take off your wheels. So when you do that, obviously brake the lug nuts with the car still on the ground. So the wheel doesn't spin on you. Make life easier. Repeat on the other side. Jackson. You take the wheel off now. When I got this car, I did the rear brakes because they decided to lock on me one day. So I was driving around and making smoke out of my brakes. So that's pretty cool. So I did them a while ago, but as you can just hear the way these are going, these are the ones that make the most noise now. Uh, so I'm going to replace them. So it's the same exact procedure as the rear brakes. There's two 14 millimeter bolts on the back of each caliper that hold it to the hub assembly. So you're going to take those off. Alright. So the caliper is now free. So you can just pull it off. Make sure you don't leave your uh, caliper hanging by the brake line. So just get some to hang it by, just to keep the strain off the brake line because you don't want to rip it. And then your rotor just pulls right off. Should should just pull right off. Maybe with a couple persuasion wax. So I cut the wheel all the way to the right and then lock the wheel. Cause this thing is having a, being a little bitch coming off, but I think I'm starting to get it now. There it is. So they've got the old rotor off. We'll get the new one on. Whenever you get new rotors that are brand new, you always kind of want to clean them off with brake clean. Because they usually come from the factory with like oil on them so they won't rust. If you look closely, you can. I can see some of the oil on there. So what you want to do is get some brake clean, whatever brand you want. This is from like the 80s or something. But it's the flammable stuff, so you know it's good. Apply liberally. And you want to clean any surface where there's going to be like friction contact. So up here is not too important, just where the studs go through. You obviously on the braking surface itself you want clean. Same on the other side. And that's good to go in the car. And then replacing the rotors is simply as simple as sliding it back on. And now we're gonna change the brake pads. Alright, so I already know someone's gonna yell at me and tell me there's a way easier way to do this with it actually bolted to the car. But I don't want to do that, so I'm going to do it this way. It's one more 14 millimeter on the caliper itself. And it's a bitch to do. <laughs> We're also going to remove the 17 millimeter down here. So there's the actual caliper part. And here's where the brake pads sit. Just be careful. Depending on what replacement kit you buy, uh, they may or may not have all these springs and stuff, so just be careful not to lose them. But uh, basically, what you have to worry about are these springs. So you can see how little life these pads had left in them. So this, it was good I decided to replace them. This could pop out. 
and get some new brake pads. You can tell the uh, difference between the pads. So this kit came with new clips but not springs, so I'm using the springs. Like that. Do that three more times. So replace all the clips. Take your pads. Pay attention to which way they go. Slide them in the clips. God damn it. Alright. Got that in. Now we put our springs back on there. Little holes. Yeah, I guess for shits and giggles, we'll put these things back in. Oh, piss. No. Oh, piss. Oh, piss. Alright, I'm not filming any more of this. Alright, so before you lose your mind, I'm gonna put these back together. Piss! I hate brakes. This is not going on YouTube. So to get the pads to fit, the new pads to fit in, you have to compress the brake caliper. So to do that, you need a C-clamp, and I took an old brake pad, one of the ones I took off and put it over it, uh, so I wouldn't damage the caliper. Oh, piston really. And this is where you learn if your calipers are fucked or not. Because this one I can see it's compressing in, that's good, that's what you want. Uh, if it didn't compress at all, then you're kind of fucked. But basically what you want to do is just compress this. It shouldn't be hard to turn, and it's not at all. Now we should be able to put the pads in. No problem. And I ended up putting tape over the springs because they are pissing me off flying out. Put my other 14 bolt back in here. Alright, once the caliper is all back together, the bolts all put back. Those two bolts greased up and put back in where they go. You can bolt the caliper back on. It's gonna be a little bit... Or actually, in this case, it's not, because I pressed the caliper all the way, the piston all the way in. You know, sometimes it can be a little difficult to get the piston where you want it. No problems in this case. Alright, now you're all set. Brake pads and new rotors. All set to go. And after you change your brakes, you should go take your car for a hard ride to make sure you wear them in. But uh, that's how you do it. So repeat on the other side and you'll be done. There you go.